giving out to them that blackness, that black power, that black. To me, we are the most beautiful creatures in the whole world. Black people. I hope everybody's doing all right today. I hope everybody's okay. Thank y'all for coming to the live stream the other night. We had a good time. Like, the panel was awesome. Everybody gave amazing feedback. I do apologize about the connection. Um, Concast, they just, they be tripping sometimes. But we had an amazing time. And like usual, I don't know if this is like... <laughs> A running theme for my live streams but it seems like every time towards the end of the live stream some weird troll comes in the chat and it's just <laughs> this live stream y'all have to go the replays up on my community tab bruh I don't know who this person was they came in there and we had to block them because I you it we had to censor it y'all because the name of <laughs> the person that came in the chat wow that man it was something but um yeah we had a good time um like i said live streams will are returning we're gonna have fun with these you know open panels are amazing because you know um even if you're not a part of the k-pop community and you're just observing it's good to have input about certain things especially in this industry that is wrong there's clearly racist and anti-black and you know that's like messed up and we all have you know a voice about it because at the end of the day we're their bosses like we listen to their music stream it we buy it we're putting money in these companies pockets so we have every right to be like yo this is wrong we're gonna speak up about this and yeah that's right Now, um, speaking of what's going on in the K-pop industry and what's shady, shout out to um, a subscriber, Hannah. Thank you. Thank you for putting that comment down on the, um, on the live stream. I really appreciate it. I looked up what you were talking about and I was absolutely floored. So, as you can see by the title... Um, this is crazy and more people need to talk about this because this is messed up what happened to this young man. So there's a guy, his name is Victor Han. Um, his mom, his dad is Brazilian and his um, mom is Korean. He's a very handsome young man, very handsome young man. And he, um, debuted in the group, um, about you. He was a drummer, very talented drummer. Um, it's really messed up how these companies just bamboozle people you feel me so you know they debuted on a show and all he did was broke his drumstick apparently the company deemed it aggressive and um it was a little bit too much for the kitties so they kicked him out and banned him from the group what how do you it's a band he broke a drumstick i can see if he took the drumstick and he threw it and he threw the drum set but it was a drumstick now there's more to this actually there's just so much along with this um allegedly um the company said that um he you know there were some things backstage where he trigger warning well he um, hurt, harmed himself backstage and he was trying to harm staff when in actuality he was like I it was a cut but I didn't do it intentionally to myself and the staff were actually trying to help me now in the midst of this of them doing this to him he had started his own YouTube channel it garnered over 200k subscribers like dude is doing good he put out a BTS cover like he was he was out here doing things um 
there was two cases that he actually had won. Um, but, but you know how these companies do bamboozled him yet again. And this man is banned from making any music and doing anything in the entertainment industry point blank period. So you, you, we may not see this man for five to six years. Oh my goodness. And what's sad about this? He has talked about his mental health issues in the past because dealing with depression and anxiety, he has talked about this and music is his life. Um, I wrote my notes down right here. Um, Hmm. like this company blocked him to have any type of public appearances um it's crazy because they kicked him out of the group but they didn't terminate his contract i'm really perturbed about this because you had this man training for eight years that's close to a decade and then you turn around and ban him from TV and whatnot. Took his YouTube channel down, by the way. But some of his videos are re-uploaded. And five to six years, he can't make no type of television appearance or anything like that. Over a broken drumstick? Bro, what kind of bullshit is that? I swear, Korea, y'all, <laughs> y'all are funny. You call yourself a very conservative type country and you deem this evil, but you have young women that haven't even reached the age of 20 yet that you clad around in very short, tight outfits and performing in front of grown men or well, soldiers in the army in Korea. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Rock bands, like here, like mosh pitches, mo mosh pits, mo mosh pits, excuse me. Crazy stuff. There's bands used to burn their guitars and stuff on stage. People like, oh, rock and roll. He broke a drumstick, bro. A drumstick, like the whole, you have to, I'm going to. I'm going to have to um, put down, um, I forgot where I found that link. I'll put it down in the description box so you can read some more about it. But um, a drumstick. I, 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 I just, I just find it ridiculous that this happened. And, you know, I think his father actually went to the CEO and talked about this and, CEO wasn't like really not feeling the daddy and whatnot about the situation and it got ugly. I feel sorry for this young man because he dedicated his life to an a uh, craft that he, you know what I'm saying, really, really loved and enjoyed. This is something that he was passionate about. This is something that he worked hard for and they literally took it from him over a fucking drumstick. That makes me so upset. Like every, I'm like, I'm trying not to get upset, but it makes me upset. What the world is, y'all got to do something with these con con contracts. Because now you're just banning people for little shit. Like little shit. Over a drumstick, bro. This is this man's life. This is his life. You took away an opportunity from him over a drumstick. Now, I can understand if it was something severe. Like, y'all remember that rock band a couple of years ago? They got banned because I'm going to put the link down below. Y'all, Some of y'all don't remember, but I remember this. Girl, they came out on stage. They started taking off their clothes, drawers, and all types of Wee wees are on stage. And I'm like, what is this? Now that I can understand to be banned for, but him breaking a, a stick, what? Get out somewhere. Get out somewhere. The way y'all over sexualize young women over in Korea, but you 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 deem this 
deem this too much. Y'all, bruh, y'all priorities is in the wrong place. But um, there's a lot of um, videos on YouTube and there are, if I can find the link to this below, I'll let y'all look this up. But this young man is named Victor Hahn. And um, this needs to be this needs more coverage. These need to be talked about more. I think it's unfair. I think it's wrong. This boy deserves justice. He deserves to have a platform. Let him express himself. Give him his platform back at least. Now this is going too far, really too far. Like you took away, you took away something from him that was passionate over a drum. I'm still, I'm still tripping over the drumstick, bruh. I'm still tripping over the drumstick. Like, <sighs> hopefully, I, I just pray that something can happen where he's able to uh, upload again or have some space where he's able to show off his work because. <laughs> It's, this is unfair. It's not right. And these contracts and clauses are just ridiculous. Listen, like we said in that live stream. In this live stream. If you want to do K-pop and go to Korea and pursue a uh, career in K-pop, that's your business. Do you? Read the contract, though. Read the contract. Make sure what you're getting into is worth it i'm not saying it might not be worth it but make sure it's worth it because i'll be damned if i spend the majority of my life working for a company that does not treat me with any type of respect you're taking away my you're taking away any type of freedom that i have any choices that i have you taking away my cell phone. I can't have social media. I can't date. I can't eat what I want to eat. I got to get surgery for stuff that I don't think I should get surgery for. It's too much. It's dumb. I think it's stupid. And a lot of more parents need to go with their kids to these companies and look up these contracts before they draw them up and sign their life away. I would never have my child do some shit like that. I would rather have my child do something independent you feel me because it's too much red tape with this mess it's ridiculous but anyway free victor um han let that man play his music let that man free that dude man let him be now i gotta make a free victor hashtag with the comeback lucas hashtag in my videos but anyway i love you guys love peace increase it you have an amazing day i'll talk to you later all right fam bye